Hi guys, in the part 1 you have seen about the uh, basic I.O. operations, how to read a file in different um, formats. Now in this tutorial, uh, we will see about what are the file operations you can do. Using the file class, we can do n number of operations. For example, you can create a file, you can read and write a file, you can check if the file is exist or not, you can create a directory, you can identify the file path also, you can delete a file or you can move the file from one location to other location. Okay, let us explore a program to do all these operations. So this is the demo class I have created to check the file operations. So as I told you earlier, uh, file class is the class which is used to do a uh, lot of op file operations. Okay, first here I have created an object for the file class. So here we are we have to path in this constructor we need to path the file uh, we need to pass the file path. So this file is in my uh, the same directory. So I just mention the name of the file. So if your file is in the different directory, you have to mention the whole path. Now I am checking if the file is exist or not for this. For that you have to do with the new file dot exist method. Exist method is used to check the file is exist or not. So here in the if condition I am checking whether the file is exist or not. If it is false, I am going to create a new file. For creating a new file method new, create new file is used. So uh, here I am just having the message, print out message, file not exist. I have created a new file and file is not exist. Okay. So here inside the try block, I am just passing the file path. Uh, here I have a string variable. Uh, I am assigning this uh, string as the file path. And here I am having the string content. Uh, this is here I am just giving the content which has to be written in the file. And for writing the file, you have to have a file writer, a file writer class uh, and buffer writer. Buffer writer used to buffer the data. So, so we are going to wrap the buffer writer with the file writer. So I have created an object for file writer and I am passing the file writer object into the buffer writer. And uh, write method is used to write the content. So with this object, I am calling the write method and I am passing content. This is the content. This has to be written inside the file. So uh, we are creating a file called created new dot uh, txt and we have the content here and we have the file name and we are writing the content and we are just uh, giving the message writing is completed and after that we have to close the stream uh, in the catch, ex catch block I am going to catch the IO exception. Okay now let me execute the program and we will check the output. I just run the program. Yeah, our writing completed. Uh, we will check whether uh, this is my uh, demo project. So here we have to check whether the particular Java file is present or not. See, created dot to txt two dot txt is present. So the file has been created and we have to check whether the content has been written here or not. So this is the file we have created and this is the content we have paused. So if you want to change the file name and uh, change the content, let me change the file name. Created online dot txt and here also I have to change the file name. And I'm creating content to online content. Just dot dot dot. Now let me execute the program and we will check. So the file does not exist because uh, create online file is not exist. So uh, file this statement has been printed and the new file has been created. And we will check whether where this is the new file. I just refresh the refresh my folder structure. See, this has been created. 
and we will see whether the content has been written there yeah the same content has been written here so uh, in this part we have seen the file operations like how to create a file using the um, create new file method and we have checked whether the particular file is exist or not and we have written the file we have a content and we have written that content inside the file and also if you want to explore many methods available in this uh, file class uh, if you just copy this uh, object file object and if you put dot see these are the uh, many methods available in the uh, file class see you can have can execute method T yeah, this will uh, test whether the um, application can execute the file or not it's like it will return true if it is execute executable otherwise it will return false this will give can read can read but that returns true if it is uh, readable or else it will write false and we can create a new file we can delete a file and see uh, we can get the name of the file and see there are a lot of methods available in the file class you can explore all these methods so in the part one we have seen about uh, basic io operations how to read the data from in different formats uh, using all the java interfaces and ap classes and in this section we have seen about file class and using the file class uh, we have performed some operations on file okay thank you for watching the tutorial have a great day